Welcome to the channel, welcome to the vlog. You're watching HQ BMW. Sorry for the delay and lack of uploads. It has been absolutely freezing. My heart goes out to everybody in Texas and down in the States. In the meantime, we've also had minus 38 to minus 40 Fahrenheit and Celsius degree weather here in Calgary. It's been so freaking cold. We haven't been able to do anything. No car stuff, no garage stuff, no nothing. It's been hunker down, stay in your house, stay warm, and spend the time with your loved ones. It was a great time. It, it was nice to just have some quality family time because guess what? We couldn't do anything else. But we've got a new project car in the HQ garage. If you've been watching on Instagram or my TikToks, you've probably already seen that we had a 1997 Chevy Corvette C5 come into the garage. It's one of my personally close friends, Jason and Christine's car. It's actually Christine's car, let's be honest. And it needs a little bit of TLC. The transmission has been leaking and it just needs some love it just some basic maintenance so a huge thanks to renee at auto protection they got the vehicle delivered here safely it was a bit of a challenge trying to get it in from the alley into the garage because it's rutted and there's so much snow and it was super slippery but we made it happen she's a professional she got it took care of it and the car's here so now we can get working on it so if you guys want to see some c5 corvette vlog action make sure you hit that subscribe button below hit the notification bell you will be notified every time I upload a new video sorry for the noise it's a little chilly in the garage i had to get the heat turned on but we need to get stone off of the quick jacks and we need to put yvette which is christine's vet up on the quick jacks so we can get underneath and see where the transmission leak is coming from and then we can get the wheels and tires taken off. We can check the brakes. We're gonna do spark plugs. We're just gonna do all the regular maintenance. So we'll get the quick jacks out from under stone and then I'll give you a cold start up on Yvette because we need to move her back just a little bit. We got stone up off the quick jacks. I left stone on the blocks just for ease. And then we got vet up on the quick jacks. Let's crawl underneath and see if it's still leaking. I sprayed it all off with um, brake cleaner yesterday to see if we could get it leaking to kind of figure out where it's coming from, but I'm pretty sure it's coming from the transmission oil pan gasket. Let's crawl underneath and see if we can see it's see it's leaking or if it's dry or whatnot. Okay, so well, it looks clean. This uh, subframe was coated in some transmission fluid, and the bolts up in there also had some fluid just around these backside bolts. Looks pretty good so far. So there's no leaking. It's all clean still. So. I think we'll check with the owner and see if they want to change the gasket under here. Might be good for preventative maintenance. I have read on some forums that if it gets really, really cold outside, these bolts, they'll shrink enough where they can leak oil. And that's kind of what happened. It was in the minus 30s when this kind of spit out a fair amount of fluid. So it might be worthwhile just doing just because, but we'll see what the owner says. The rotors look pretty good, not too bad. There's a little bit of a groove. And the rear pads actually look fairly new still. So it doesn't look like we need to do the rear brakes at all. Let's go up and check the fronts. The fronts look pretty good as well. Just some condensation from all the moisture in the garage. Front pads look like they've got lots of life as well. So I don't think this car's gonna need brakes at all. The 
tie rod ends look pretty good. Looks like there hasn't been any movement. The Corvette is actually in some pretty good shape, to be honest with you. So for those who are not familiar with the C5 Corvette, it comes with an LS1 5.7 liter All-American B8. That which, That is what makes that beautiful symphony of an exhaust sound. This car does have an exhaust, so it sounds even better than factory. Quick notice of the brake fluid. It uh, uh, it doesn't look very good. I think it's gonna need a brake fluid flush for sure. And I think we'll check the air filter, which is up down there. I'll set you guys down and get that cover pulled off and see if we can check the air filter. It's probably one that you can just clean and don't have to replace. Okay, so it looks like we can just pull this cover off. Okay, there we go. There is the air filter. It uh, it looks pretty clean. You can still see through it, and it looks like to be a, and it looks to be a long life air filter. So that's pretty good. Doesn't look like it needs anything. It's pretty clean. It's actually uh, in really good shape. So right up in there, there is this little rubber filler piece that looks like it's fallen out. So I just took a little RTV and we will just place it back in place. There, now there's one on both sides and that should hold the filter in and that'll stay there okay let's get this air filter put back Connections back in, mass airflow sensor, vacuum line. Air filter's been checked. Let's check the engine oil. Engine oil actually looks very clean. So that's good. Don't need to mess with that. Last one to check. Coolant. It actually looks really clean as well, so don't need to don't really need to worry about that. While we're over here, let's check power steering. Power steering fluid looks really good and clean as well. So there we go. Once over on Yvette the Corvette, and it's actually in really good shape. Um, I'm pleasantly surprised. Other than maybe doing some spark plugs, but we can pull one and check it out. Um, we might not have to do a whole lot other than maybe change the transmission oil pan seal and get Yvette back ready for the summer. I believe Yvette is going to be joining some of the Royal Rallies this year, so 
we got to make sure she's in tip top shape for those rallies and getting all the check stops and having a lot of fun so hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog if you want to see more c5 corvette content hit that subscribe button down below hit the notification bell every time i upload a new video you will be notified thanks for watching please like comment subscribe peace